Good afternoon. Questions? Go. Did you, uh, I'm sure you watched the UCLA game last night. I did. did you, uh, have you seen any growing pains in them? That was kind of a big question up until this point, that they had some things that worked out because they're so young. Talk about UCLA? UCLA, yeah. Um, I, I think with their guard play being as uh, mature and, and experienced as it is, I, I don't think that uh, learning curve has been as great as they thought it was going to be. Uh, they're still really good. Just defensively, they're real good. You still seeing the same uh, like defense with them? Just trade man to man position? I think with UCLA, they're they're pretty uh, bold and upfront. This is who we are. This is what we're going to do. Now you got to beat it. And uh, Ben's always been that way. He does a real good job of that. And and uh, they're they're not going to try to trick you. They're coming right at you. How do you prepare your guys to handle that, particularly on the road? You know, Brandon, I think the biggest thing we have to do is make sure that uh, we we uh, you okay? Okay. I got it. did. Great hands. I think we have to do a good job of being prepared ourselves, not get caught up too much in UCLA and USC. And and uh, I, the way you do that is, is I think, uh, prepare to go in there, take care of the basketball, play hard, win the battle on the glass, and same things it always comes down to. And, and um, I think sometimes when you play a team like UCLA, who's had the not only the, the recent success, but the, the aura that they've had through basketball history, um, I just think it's important that you don't, worry too much about that and you worry about yourself and uh, that's what we're going to attempt to do when we go in there just try to play our game and play it the best we can. How's Jordan's leg doing? Uh, I think he's better. Yeah, he says he feels better. Um, we, we hope that, you know, last couple days will help him and, and uh, he'll be ready for Thursday night be be full speed. I think a lot of our issues um, this weekend were just, I, th I think we were mentally drained. Um, we knew we had to come back and play well. Then we needed to get a couple wins. And I thought the guys did a really good job of that. So um, hopefully we'll be refreshed and ready to go. Did you take yesterday off? We did. Yeah. And then uh, it goes morning? Actually, we, we took today off too. Oh, really? We did uh, film, um, a little, little work in the weight room. I mean, let's say off. We didn't do anything physical. Uh, I don't think we ever take, totally take a day off. Yesterday was the day off. Uh, today we just didn't do anything physical. Any reason? Why? Because of the training? Yeah, just to make sure we're, we're good. You were talking about, um, I was chasing about the, uh, hitting the wall. So did you, did your mind change at all? Or maybe eventually some of the guys might have hit one at some point? At, uh, it'll just February or something. I can't, I, you know, I, I, we really just have to go game by game. You, know, you just can't worry about it, you know. Uh, again, I think when, you, when you're worried about saving this, saving that, you get the end of the year and you got a whole bunch of stuff saved and you go, gosh, we didn't, we didn't play very good. <laughs> and so I, I think the big thing, we got to go into every game like it's our last one and play it that way every single time out. Coach, I think a couple weeks ago the guy said that Coach Dunlap had told them, you guys are good enough. You can go and pavilion and beat those guys. Is that something that's come up this past couple days at all? No, no. I'm, uh, I'm not in making predictions and and uh, stuff like that. That stuff winds up on bulletin boards. Um, we're going to prepare for UCLA like we did for Oregon, Oregon State, and just try to go in there and win. Uh, we believe we can win every time we go out, or we shouldn't play. Uh, but. I don't want us to get caught up in things like that. 